Hello, I'm Eric. And I'm Melissa. And today we're going to do our Midwest Gaming Classic 2018 pickup video. Our very first, hopefully in our, not our last, for the Expo, Midwest yeah, Gaming Classic Midwest Expo. Gaming. First year we went, mm -hmm. met a lot of cartridge clubbers there. Met a lot of cartridge clubbers there. Met a lot of other uh, people that we talked to on Twitter. Midwest, uh, Midwest. Midwest YouTubers mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Yeah. So it was a good time, good times. Uh, as always, you know, you always see somebody you know and uh, talk to them and that's what uh, makes the expo. Yeah. In fact, we even met somebody from Halifax there. Yeah, we did. So that they was exciting. That person went all, came all the way to Halifax and was like, hey, you're the Q Dogs, <laughs> aren't you? And I was like, yeah. Yeah. So and you are yeah. somebody yeah. of importance, I think. Anyway, obviously, like, okay, we're talking about P1 yeah. from the Cartridge Club. We've met him before. Yes, we uh, have. Anyway. So. Yeah, it was great. Great to see all of those guys. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, my brother I, came up with us. Oh yeah, your brother. Yeah, we drove up. We flew in Chicago and drove up. Picked him up on the way. Drove up. Uh huh. Uh, you know, was on the expo floor. I played in the arcade a bunch because they had a bunch of pinball. Because it was like it focused on pinball, and I love pinball. Yeah. And uh, you were there. Was a couple panels we went to. You oh were, yeah. Um, so there was one I went to first. It was the Midwest Gamer, Midwest YouTubers yes. that had our old pal from the Cartridge Club, Musty Habit. Yeah. And it had Old Ass Gamer and yep. Game Grinder and Corpse Flood Gaming. Yep. Those guys did an excellent panel on what it's like to be, you know, to start up YouTube and mm -hmm. stuff like that. But perhaps more exciting for me personally <laughs> was that I was invited to be on the Cartridge Club uh, panel and I yes. got this neat little badge. And we talked about, uh, that was with uh, P1, uh, Dean from Round 2 Gaming, Musty Hobbit from Second Breakfast, and It's Rocket Sauce from his house, <laughs> which is incredible. Uh, and we from all sat Rocket there and talked. Sauce. Yeah, huh? uh, what did I say? No, from yeah, It's Rocket Sauce. From It's Rocket Twitter. Sauce. Yeah, he's on Twitter. Yeah. He doesn't have a YouTube. That was the, that was the joke. Anyway, uh, we all did a panel on the Cartridge Club community and stuff like that. So, Building a community. Uh, so. That was that was a lot of fun. Yep. For me, up there, I don't know if it was fun for the audience, but uh, we they gave us some nice words anyway. No, it was, so, it was a good panel. Um, really so what we really want to do though here, I guess, is share our pickups. Um, it was crazy. It was a two-day event, and we all kind of scattered and. Every now and then we bump into some people we knew and they'd help me out and I'll mention which of the things I got helped out with. But uh, I guess what I want to mention first is a couple of random things. Uh, we, um, I don't know why, we, we, <laughs> we were at we Best, were at Best Buy the, and uh, the day before. Uh, the day before and there happened to be a, a, a Microsoft, um, a Microsoft uh, representative there and I got this little Forza Motorsport 5 pin. Musty picked up some good stuff, some good swag. Uh, I don't know if he'll share that or not, but I got that. And then uh, I'll just throw this in now because I don't know where else to do it. Somebody uh, gave me a one-up card and I, of course, immediately thought of John Riggs. Mm -hmm. But uh, they threw that in for us. But more importantly, I think what I want to do is um, I'd like to start with the Friday stuff. Okay. But I kind of want to go back to our tradition of starting with manuals because the last pickup video we did... For there were the no swap manuals. meet, right? Yeah, the we had swap yeah meet swap in January. Meet. There were no manuals. No manuals. This time, we went like, the complete opposite direction manuals. and got a ton of manuals. Yes. So I want to go through those first, and then I will sort of talk about uh, interleave the stuff that we did on Friday and stuff like that. So I'm All just going right. to burn through these manuals. Oh my goodness! I, I this is like uh, this is probably the most manuals you've ever got at yeah. an expo. I don't yeah. think you've even gotten this many at PRGE. Well, we I'll give a spoiler. We stopped at a booth. Uh, I think the store is called Make Sense. Yeah. It's a it's a store that It's Rocket Sauce knows about in Milwaukee. Uh, we stopped there on Friday. Uh, great store. And then he had an incredible booth, and he had tons and tons of organized, nicely sleeved manuals, which are nice to go through. So I spent a bunch of time going through the manuals. So this is what I got. And not all of these are from that table, but most of them are. Uh, and these price stickers are still on here. They're not really the prices paid, but close. Uh, we've got uh, Batman Returns for Game Gear. Okay, I have this game. Sonic the Hedgehog Chaos, or sometimes it's called Sonic Chaos. I also have this game for Game Gear. 
Okay, moving on to NES manuals. These are for games, I, well, this one I have, a game. Cobra Triangle. Neat, always good to do that. Don't have this game, but it's on the wish list. Oh boy, and I, I, I we're gonna do Yeah, that I know, well. Get, what happened to the rope? Get ready. Oh boy. Because this is the only this the is, first. Is this just the tip of the iceberg? It is the tip of the As iceberg. This is Disney Adventures in the Magic Kingdom. Oh boy. Okay, next one is Athena uh, for the NES. I have this game. So that's good, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna start keeping a tally. Okay, you do that. Iron Sword, Wizards and Warriors 2. There'll be a tally at the end. I do a whole thing that shows how many I, I know. Although these are on the wish list, so okay, tally keep a tally. Uh, Iron Sword, Wizards and Warriors 2. Got it? Got it. Ooh, Tengen. Ooh, Tengen. Uh, RBI, <laughs> I wish Tetris. RBI Baseball 2. Ooh, that's going to go so in my nice. case. So that's nice. That'll go in my up, case, huh? yep. Uh, I guess and you got that one. I have that, yeah. Uh, Urban Champion, nice to get a black label manual. Yep. And the best NES manual, Mega Man 6. This was a little bit pricey. But not the priciest manual there. There was a Donkey Kong Jr. math manual that oh. they wanted 50 for. 50 just for the manual? So I slid that back and said, I'll just stick with Mega Man 6. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, but do you think you'll ever get that other manual? I mean, that could be it. $50. What? I don't have Donkey Kong Jr. math, and I'm probably not going to get it. All right. All right. Super Nintendo, Kirby's Avalanche. This is a Super Nintendo game I bought, I don't know, probably several years ago now. Okay. Hexen, Hexen, N64. Didn't notice the flaw on the back, so I'm not happy about that. You know, that's how they get you. They put them in these pretty packaging. Ooh, so pretty! And then there's there a could pack. be all kinds of yeah, yeah. I haven't even looked inside these. So oh, there could boy. be all kinds of fun. We're in trouble. Mischief Makers, cool. That's a nice one to have the manual for. Space Station Silicon Valley. This is a game I actually found at Goodwill, so I was pretty happy about that because it's kind of a little bit on the pricier side. All right. And Turok Three. This seems like it's rotated wrong. Turok mm. Three, another game I recently got. Okay, continuing with manuals, moving into oh the older goodness. generation. Some ColecoVision. Carnival, a game I couldn't believe I didn't have. Uh-oh, uh, so there's number two? Yeah, actually, uh, I've made a mistake it? here because I bought the game. I was going to say, that's what I thought. Yeah. Oh, there it is. I made the mistake, so we'll just jump ahead. I try to bundle these together, but I forgot. Carnival, this isn't the price. Carnival, yeah, you actually negotiated this down to half this price. Right? Yeah. So I got the game in the manual. All right, I guess I won't count that since you did get the game. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that counts. I'll just put it here that for now. Good. And Slither, a game I already have that requires the roller controller, which I have got at uh, the swap meet yeah. and doesn't work. And Saw then, one there. Yeah. And uh, the guy, he didn't have it tested either. And I kind of have a new rule. Don't buy untested hardware. Uh, I was going to go back at the end of the expo. I did go back at the end of the expo, figuring maybe I can get him to drop the price a lot because it's kind of a bulky item and it was already gone. Bummer. Oh well, next time. Okay, now moving into Atari. This was a big Those are Atari. all Atari? Yeah. Yes. Wow. Okay. And I have so many Atari games and so many that I got that I'm not gonna I'm not sure which ones. I'll tell you the ones I'm sure of. I don't have this game. Mm -hmm. It's a Parker Brothers game, so it's on the list of games on the wish list. So it's on the wish list. Amadar. Boxing for Activision. I think I have this game. Demons to Diamonds. This uh, I put on the wish list uh, because it is an early, I think the number, uh, the model number, 2615. I've been listening to the Game for Game, 2600 Game by Game podcast, uh, recommended to me by Retro Nonsense. And so I started adding some of the early, low-numbered uh, Atari games. So I actually looked for this game at the Expo. I couldn't find a copy I wanted. Dig Dug. Don't have it. Oh, my goodness. Golf. Don't have it. Uh -oh. Kind of want it. Human Obviously, Cannonball. Since you bought the manual. Human Cannonball. This is 27. Don't have it. Kind of want it. Oh, Activision again. Ice hockey. International soccer. This is one I thought I might have. I'll talk to you a little bit about it in a minute. Don't have it. So Maze Craze. Got it. Okay. And a mistake. Oh boy. They were teasing me because I have all of this process set up not to buy duplicates, except the process has one flaw. <laughs> if the stack of manuals I'm buying has the same thing in it twice, I can't, I didn't detect that. 
I make sure it's not in my collection. I make sure it's not a game I already bought at the expo like the previous day. But when I go through manuals I think I need, I grab every one that I think yes. I need. And then I decide which one is better. Well, I Your guess I... Your was I, so large. So large that I threw that two Mega Manias in there. You didn't go through it very well. Midnight Did you Magic. you that game at least? No. Oh, so now you have two <laughs> manuals two, per game. Well, I'll right just buy the game twice and then it'll work itself out. Oh my gosh. Midnight Magic. My youngest daughter is really into the old Atari, the fun is back commercial, and they mentioned this game, so I thought, how fun would it be if I, yeah. if I bought the game and brought it home? I, I couldn't find a copy I wanted, so some other time I will buy that and show it to her and see how excited she is. Popeye, I have this manual. That was another mistake. Oh boy. I don't know how it slipped in there. I just put it in the wrong pile. Real Sports Volleyball, have the game, that's good. Did you have the Popeye game? Yeah, okay. and the manual. So I was just a manual. Uh, River Raid. I don't have this game, which is unbelievable to me. So I grabbed the manual. Because I'm. Uh, you can see uh, Activision, a lot of Activision stuff. What's this? Skiing. I have this game. Sky Jinx. Don't have it. Oh my goodness. Space Shuttle. That's an awful lot of Atari games. Don't have this game. Like Stampede. Just got this game recently. Are we going for a full Atari collection? No. That's what they were asking me when I was going through something. Like, like, no. Well, I have a lot of these games, just not all of them. Uh -huh. Street Racer. I don't know if I have this game or not. I'm counting it. If I have it, it'll be in the picture. Surround. Have it. Tennis. I think I have this. I'm pretty sure I have this one. And Time Pilots, which is a Coleco game, also on the list of collection Coleco games for the 2600. Don't have this game, but I have it for the Coleco version. I don't have the 2600 version. Bought this. I recently unearthed one of these log books uh, in my old Atari stuff. It's older oh, than yeah. this one. And I thought, for a dollar, I'll just grab this new one. It looks kind of cool. It's just, mm -hmm. it's just paperwork. Are you sure there. it's new? You didn't even open it. No, I mean, it's new to me. Okay. It's in pretty good shape. Who cares? Maybe somebody will have their high scores in there, and then I can go beat them. Not really. Mm -hmm. All right. 5,200. Got some 5,200 manuals. That's exciting. This one was $5. I don't know if I paid that. I don't think I paid that. Uh, Mario Brothers. The original Mario Brothers on the Atari 5,200. Wow. Real Sports baseball. baseball. Got this game. Real Sports Soccer. Don't have this game. I have Soccer. So this is actually a variant. Mm, wow. This is actually a variant. I think they're the same game. So I may get the real sports soccer label variant. We'll see. Space Dungeon. This is a game that was on a, in a book I'm reading about the best 100 console games from 77 to 87 by uh, Brett Weiss, I think. And uh, it's on my list, so I grabbed the manual. Couldn't find the game. Or did I? I don't remember. I, don't, I didn't buy the game, that, that's for sure. Star Trek for the 5200, I have this game. And finally, a I have a 7800 and I bought the uh, owner's manual, Ooh. which is kind of cool. Okay. So, okay, that's it for the manuals that are for games I already have or games I don't have yet. Um, I have more manuals. They're interspersed with the games I bought, uh, with the games that I bought there. Okay. So, so let's so talk wait. about... I counted 16. Okay. 16 games. Eh. 15 16 were games. Atari. So there's 16 games. 15 were Atari. <laughs> to bubble to the top of the list. Those will be priority games. We'll see. All right, so Friday night, we um, we met a bunch of cartridge clubbers and some other YouTubers, and uh, Rocket Sauce had arranged a, uh, a bundle. He had gotten an Atari bundle. And what ended up happening is me and uh, Musty Hobbit and I wanted to split it. So we did a um, we did a uh, draft, draft where he grabbed six games, I grabbed six games, and then we alternated. Um, the six games were the ones we had already prearranged in, uh, in the in the chat. But part of that bundle included um, this. And I guess Musty had no interest in it, so he gave it to me. And it is a, it's a, called a uh, Wizmaster uh, Quick Shot. It works with the Sega Atari. It's a standard nine pin controller. It's kind of cool. It has some thumb sticks, which are missing, but they would have been really nice because I bet they're compatible with the original Sega Master System mm. pads that had thumb sticks. But I grabbed it, mm -hmm. or Musty gave it to me, so uh, cool. that's kind of neat. That was in the bundle. Uh, there were a bunch of games in the bundle, and I will mention, um, I think, do I have them split out? I think I have them split out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the ones I draft. Yeah. So these are the ones that were in the draft. 
okay. that I picked uh, from Musty and, and with Musty. And one of the first ones that I wanted or that I saw in the picture and immediately wanted was basic math. How cool is that? Mm -hmm. I wonder if this uses the keyboard controller, which I have for brain games. So was happy to get that one. Musty had no interest, so I grabbed it. Uh, the next one, or these are alphabetical, so I don't know what order I picked them in. Uh, basketball, grab the manual. Um, some of these games came with manuals at the draft, but they were all water damaged or dirty, so I ended up buying replacements anyway for most of them. Um, basketball, cool. I know this game from the airplane movie, or maybe <laughs> it's airplane two. I think it was what he was playing. Berserk, this is a duplicate, but I grabbed it because it's it's a good game. Mm -hmm. Is it a label upgrade? It might be. And that's another thing, I was looking for label upgrades. Bowling, uh, this is one of the first games we ever had, but we have a text label. So this is a uh, variant with the picture. So I grabbed it. Look at you with variants now. Yeah, I'm, I'm, all, I'm all hardcore Atari. Uh, Canyon Bomber, grab the manual at the, uh, at the uh, expo. And Defender, another, uh, another duplicate, but possibly a label upgrade. So good to have that. Uh, moving on alphabetically, uh, Galaxian. This is one of the first ones I think I wanted. I hear good things about Galaxian. There's, it's Galaxian. There's not many home ports of this game if I'm remembering it correctly, but uh, this is one of them, so I grabbed it. And Gravatar. Don't know much about this game. Uh, seemed like it had a cool title, so I grabbed it. Come on, Gravatar. Joust. One of the games recommended in the top 100 games, so I grabbed it. I have a couple variants of this. Thought I'd grab the 2600. Here is another one, uh, Othello, that I, I can't remember. I thought I kind of wanted it um, early on, so I grabbed it. It seems cool. I've always, I always thought the, the cover art on this was kind of neat. Although it's a little bit creepy, but also kind of mm -hmm. kind of shows the guy thinking and then making his move. And then this is actually another duplicate that... <laughs> I bought the manual for again. I don't know what I was doing. Too much Atari. Video pinball, I already have this game. Might, this might be an upgrade. There might be upgrades. Yeah. Hmm. I blew it. And this is, I, I guess. there was like a list. I know, I don't know what was going on. It would, I spent so much time at these manuals. Okay, real sports football. I'm getting some of the real sports games for 5200. You didn't get the, that's 2600. This is 2600. You got the 5, yeah. I, had the, I already had the 5200 version of this. Okay. All right. And then some of the third party games that were in that bundle Ice Hockey for Activision. Neat. Yeah. Neat. Robot Tank. This is a game I've wanted for a really long time. My buddy had it when I was growing up. I thought it was so great. I wanted to get one with a clean label, but the fact of the matter is, there's no Activision games really have clean labels mm -hmm. anymore. So, and it was, you know, it was in this bundle, so it was virtually. Yeah, we were going to, um, the guy eventually said, just give me a beer. Give me a beer, buy me a beer, and we'll call it even. And then we didn't see him, and we didn't buy him a beer. So we'll have to make it We're up for him another him time. time. Uh, Ski Shoot. This is another one covered by the 2600. It's covered by the 2600 Game by Game podcast. So I thought I'd grab it because I don't have it. This is an Apollo game. I don't have any Apollo games. And then moving on to M Network, which is Mattel, which is why these look like Intellivision carts with just an Atari uh, adapter on it. Frogs and Flies. I think this is another game in my top 100 book. Grab that. And the manual separately, Kool-Aid Man. I thought this was this was one of the first ones I grabbed because I thought it would be interesting. Oh, and I got and they had the manual there, so another M Network game. And then uh, Blueprint, grabbed the manual. Those are kind of neat. Yeah, these are kind of these are CBS games. And then Wizard of War, another one from my uh, my book that I'm reading. And so I grabbed that and the manual. Mm. And then on the show floor, I actually grabbed Gorf which I have for the ColecoVision, but I figured, what the heck, I got these other two CBS games. I saw this on the floor, these were separate, and I bought them, so that was cool. Parker Brothers game I have never ever seen, but it was on my list because it's Parker Brothers Sky Skipper. So I grabbed it. And then finally, a game that I was actually really interested in from that book, uh, it sounds like a really fun game, and that's Turmoil. And I don't remember ever seeing it before, but I've never looked that hard. This is a 20th Century Fox game. So, got a couple of neat third-party games. Parker Brothers, Apollo, M Network, 20th Century. Okay, and then the final Atari game, I'm just going to show the box here, okay. is something I've had my eye on for a while. I actually had this cart. It was given to me free at PRG with no labels on it. Oh, yeah. Star Raiders. Uh, this is in great shape. Comes with two interior boxes, one with a controller, one with the game box. Cart's in great shape. Controller seems like it's in good shape. So this is a really great package. It's in really great shape. Um, 
and uh, it's kind of got the comic it. book. Yeah, it's got the comic book, so I'm really, I'm really excited to to take check this one out just just for the curiosity of it. Okay. All right. So, so okay. So we actually accidentally moved into the expo. I wanted yeah, to mention. Yeah, I, I was gonna say. Wait a minute. We're supposed to be Friday. Yeah. So Friday also, uh, Rocket. I brought him a um, Dreamcast game, and I wasn't really expecting anything. But then he decided to give me a. Uh, or he was willing to give me, uh, he, he offered, I didn't ask for anything, he said, this is an RGB modded N64, mm -hmm. do I want it? Mm -hmm. And I said, yeah, because when someone offers you something like that, you say, yeah, I'll take an you RGB You had to have it. Yeah, so uh, that's what this tape means, I'll uh, check it out, I haven't tested it yet, uh, because we, he was showing me HD retrovision cables, um, oh, which look really nice, so. These cartridge clubbers. They're getting me in trouble mm -hmm. with all this stuff. All right, let's talk about some of the miscellaneous games Ooh. here I want to go. We already oh, talked nice. about Carnival. Let's do, um, Okay. what's up? What's up? I'm just looking at the 5200. Uh, I bought this 5200 game because it came with the manual and of course it's, it's Berserk, which is an awesome, an awesome game. Um, you can see, I think I had the 2600 version. I already have that. So I like to get, you know, the variants. And it was, it was a good price and it had the manual. Did you uh, buy anything that wasn't a hard? Yes, always. <laughs> we started with Atari. Uh, Venture for the Intellivision. Now, I didn't know about this game. I love this game. or It's one of my preferred games on the ColecoVision. It was like the killer app that made me want to get a ColecoVision. And then I bought the Atari version just to see you know, how that translated. And then I saw this version for the Intellivision with the manual. And I said, I got to get that. So Venture. So I'm really curious and excited to see how Venture turns out. Um, Another one on my list, again, I like to get the different variants. This is the ColecoVision version of Frogger. And it was a really good price, so I grabbed it. Cool. I, and I have Frogger 3 deep, I have Frogger 2 for the ColecoVision, and now I have Frogger 1. So, and Frogger on the Atari is one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. All right, that should do it for Atari and old generation stuff. We're now gonna move into Nintendo, Sega, that kind of stuff, okay? All right. Except we have one, one last non I didn't get any PlayStation, no PlayStation. Mm -hmm. Tecmo Classic Arcade, I love these arcade compilations. Um, I saw uh, Star Force on the back, that was good enough for me. Mm -hmm. I believe that's a shooter, has Rygar. Um, uh, it has Tecmo Bowl, which maybe is an arcade version of it. I don't know, 11 classic games. I don't know all of them, but uh, Star Force was enough to sell me, so awesome. There you go. Got this. All right, let's move into this pile. Okay. All right, Nintendo stuff. Oh boy. Musty's collecting Milton Bradley. I just always liked the, the cover art on this. Used to read about this in Game Pro Magazine, Abidox by Milton Bradley from JS. Don't have the manual. Is that gonna be your next subset? No, not really, but no. I, I did want to get Abidox. This is one I added to my top five. Yeah. Towards the end. And uh, somebody in the Cartridge Club, whether it was Rocket or Musty or Sean or, or Dean, somebody found it for me. I went over there, we negotiated it uh, with a game with Musty, got a good price. And it is Star Soldier Vanishing Earth. Love the shoot 'em ups. Didn't even know about this game a month ago. Uh, Rocket Sauce told me about it, so I added it to my list. You wanna do that one? Sure, we've been looking for this one for a while. Yeah. This is a Wii game, I think the only Wii game we got. Mm -hmm. A Boy and His Blob, so. Bought it oh. because of the NES version. Mm -hmm. It's been on our wish list for a while. Yeah. Again, this was a deal I did with Musty, mm -hmm. and then I asked I, I asked him for a couple bucks and he <laughs> off, and he said sure. Mm -hmm. It was buy two get one free. Yeah. And he got the two games, and I got one. And I said hey, can I can have a couple bucks off. And he said yeah. So thank you. Uh, next, okay. Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. I have two other Phoenix Wright games. Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney and Phoenix Wright Trials and I'm something. I'm surprised you didn't get this one too at launch. No, I didn't get any of them at launch. Oh. I got them all after the fact. Oh, okay. So I've been collecting the Phoenix Wright. I think there's a trilogy. There's some other side quest, side ones. I have the Professor Layton one. There's another one. I'm not counting that, so I'm going to just say some set complete. Oh, there we go. So cool. Okay. It's the Phoenix Wright trilogy. Okay, I want to talk about this one next. Was this on your top five? No, but it was on my list for a long time. Yes. It was a top five for another expo a while ago, and then it dropped off. And then I'm like, oh. we were talking about it one night with Sean with P1, and I and I was so it was on my mind, and I saw it complete. It had the map. It was in really good shape, so I grabbed it. Mm -hmm. And that is Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. 
I like to grab the Square or the maybe even any Super Nintendo RPGs complete in box. And so this has, I, I think it only has one map. There's a map in here, there's a manual. The cartridge is in pretty good shape. The box is in great shape. And the price is very reasonable, so I grabbed it. Is that a good game, actually? I have no idea. It's a, it's a very simplistic RPG. But I, I'll play it. Okay. I, I don't have any problems with that. Okay. All right, and then I want to mention two gifts from uh, people that were at the, uh, we saw. This is a friend of uh, Ryan, of Rocket Sauce, who we'll, we'll just call Brad. Uh, Brad was there. He is the person who gave me my copy of Tubin, mm -hmm. which was the last Tengen game. Mm -hmm. And at some point on Twitter, people were talking about Battle of Olympus, and I think it was with Matt Bandy and some mm -hmm. other people. And he said, and I said, oh yeah, that, that sounds great. I think that's been on my wish list for a while. And he let me know. He said, I got it. I'll give it to you at MGC. And he was true to his word. He gave it to me at MGC. So I probably owe him a beer too. Mm -hmm. So. so yeah, so thank you very much, Brad. I appreciate it. I'm like, very excited to have that. And then completely out of the blue, I'm gonna say, mm -hmm. it comes with the manual. Mm -hmm. Completely out of the blue on uh, the second day, uh, the Latin legend Julian came up to me and said, "Were you looking for this?" And I said, "Yeah, I was looking for it. There was a table that had it that wanted an incredible amount of money for it, but apparently he found it for very cheap." That is Final Fantasy V. It is just the box. It is the box and the cartridge. Mm -hmm. But I recently bought a reproduction of this, and so I wanted, I felt kind of guilty, so I wanted to have the original cartridge just to say, look, I own this thing. Mm -hmm. um, so he grabbed it for me, and I'm really grateful because I really enjoyed, even though it took me a year, I really enjoyed Final Fantasy V. Yep. I probably won't ever play this. I don't have a way to play it, but it's neat to have the box, mm -hmm. and uh, I can now justify owning the reproduction of it. Um, That's what makes him a legend. That's what makes him a legend. Mm -hmm. That's true. So he does stuff like that. Okay, and then now we are finally in the home stretch. Holy cow. Uh, second day, I grabbed for a buck a piece. I want to do these first. Okay. For a buck a piece, I call them EA cartridge cases, mm -hmm. but they also happen to have games included in them. This one I might actually keep. Okay. NHL PA Hockey 93. Might keep that one. I don't have that game. Mm -hmm. You probably have this game sometime I over do. Madden 95. I bought this because it had the right thickness. Because mm -hmm. EA does two kinds of thickness boxes. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, no, you can tell. Yeah. yeah. And then we have John Madden Football 92. This one actually has Madden 96 in it. It doesn't even oh, have really? the right game in it. Ugh. And then Madden Football 93. It's for cases. It's for the Same cases. Same reason why you buy cases. Like, uh, Nintendo DS cases. Or, yep, 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 you know, yep. Okay, so now some of my favorite pickups. Actually, this Ooh. one I'll just mention because we're kind of on Sega Genesis. Go ahead. This has been on my wish list for a while. It's part of a series. I have Super Monaco GP. This is Super Monaco GP2. Uh, it's been on my wish list for a while. Um, $4. And I don't think we paid that much. $4 for a complete Genesis, you know, black, mm -hmm. black box Genesis in good shape. Yes, I'll do that. And it was on my wish list. Okay. So easy. All right, so now the top three favorite pickups oh, of the boy. Expo. Um, yeah, I'll do this one. Do uh, the Revenge of Shinobi. Oh. I have been purchasing, I have a six pack that had a bunch of games on it, uh, including the Revenge of Shinobi. I've been buying them individually. Sonic the Hedgehog, Golden Axe, Super Hang On, Column, Streets of Rage. This is the last one I needed. I finally pulled the trigger. I was trying to get the Revision 1.0, which has Spider-Man, it has these unlicensed right. characters in it. Spider-Man, Rambo, Godzilla, Super, uh, Batman. Uh, and the Terminator. I, I don't know. I asked the guys which version this was. They didn't know. But it's in really good shape, so I just decided to grab it. And maybe over time. I, I don't know what version it is yet. I haven't tried it. But maybe if it's not the right version, I'll just keep buying them mm -hmm. and flipping them until I get one that I want. Mm -hmm. At least I have a good case in manual. So that was exciting. You talk about this one. All right. So this one you saw and you really wanted. Mm -hmm. um, so I got it for you. Raiden Trad. Yeah. And there's actually a little story behind this. But that's an exclusive. This exclusive story will be heard on a Cartridge Club podcast. Upcoming Cartridge Club podcast. Yeah. So, so check your Cartridge Club feed for a podcast featuring yeah, us, me. Q Dogs. Yep. And uh, you you'll hear a, a little bit more of a story behind how Melissa got that one. Okay, and then last is one of my favorite pickups. Uh, it's not the most expensive one, but it's uh, I guess it's important because it uh, completes. Completes a subset. It does. And that is 
Mega Man for the NES. This is the last Mega Man game I need, so subset complete. Um, we saw this game, I'm a little bit surprised, we saw this game early in the expo, and uh, I'll just tell the prices. Okay. It was $60. Bill, and, Bill will like this part. Yeah. yeah. So it was $60, and I wasn't sure I wanted to pay that. Isn't um, that, I mean, you've been looking for that for a while, and isn't that kind yeah. of why you haven't bought it yet? Because you're like, it's, it's kind of pricey. Yeah, because I thought it was like an 80 or 90 game, 80 oh. or 90 dollar game. Okay. And so I think it's coming down. I'm not really sure, but I'll tell you this. Even the vendors were surprised that it had come down because they initially were asking 60. Okay. And then uh, during the course of the expo, I actually found the manual. Ooh. Now the manual, so let's talk about the manual real quick. The manual I saw at the, at the January swap meet and it was next to a pile of manuals that were $10 and it said ask. Ooh. So I'm assuming they wanted more than 10 for it. Um, this guy was initially wanting more than 10 for this too, but he, he reduced it. Uh, so I didn't pay more than 10. Okay. But anyway, uh, so I got the manual and then I'm like, well, maybe I should go back and get, because I've never seen, I've only seen this manual twice now. And it looks, it's a really It looks like it's in really manual. good shape. Yeah. And then I had Mega Man 6, so that was kind of cool. So we bought the manuals. I'm like, well, maybe I should go back and look at that Mega Man. Mm -hmm. And I was talking to P1 about it and he said, well, you know, give me a, give, pick a price. And I said, well, if I can get it for 50, I'll buy it because mm -hmm. 50 okay well what the hell and so I was going I went back and I asked them you know and they still had um, they still had two of them and I looked at them and one of them was smashed and this was in good shape and so I said well and I was expecting them to say 60 and I asked them well, what what is it and they said yeah well we looked it up and we were surprised it's gone down they were only wanted 45 mm -hmm. and so I was taking a little bit of back uh, taking it back and because I wasn't I was only buying the one game I just kind of said okay uh I didn't try to negotiate it down any further so I've got Mega Man for 45, got the manual for around 10. Somewhere and uh, so it completes my Mega Man subset. So that's that's really exciting. That's exciting, yeah. So happy about that. Um, that's one of the collection goals. So a yeah. lot of stuff, a lot of talking, lots of Atari. Um, I thank Duke and Musty and Chris Roberts and those guys for yeah. talking about it and listening to the Atari podcast and all that stuff. So. Um, it was excellent. Lots mm -hmm. of nice pickups. Mm -hmm. Enough that was easy enough to get back into our luggage yes. and haul it home. Yeah, that was the thing too. We kind of had to be careful not to buy too much so we could uh, yeah. carry it out. So yeah, I was worried about these all these cases, but yeah. for less than a buck a piece, I had to grab it. So it's good expo, good people, good pickups. Yep, and hopefully we get to go back. It's a once a year expo, so yep. we'll see. Yeah, sounds good. All right, that ought to do it. All right, if you enjoyed the video, like us and subscribe.